Hello and welcome to the Iceman channel. Pretty soon I'll be on a plane to Las Vegas for Bug Bash and Defcon. If you ever um, want to meet me up, feel free to do so, you know. I thought of making a video while I wait. I have some couple more hours before I have to head out to the airport, so let's see what we can do. Question is, what could we do? What kind of topic should we have in this video? I thought about it. We have a news one, and uh, that's pretty in interesting stuff going on. But I was thinking of this, the Flippy Zero, but not that one, rather than the Nard and the Sam. So join me when, uh, when we go through this long, long story of me testing to set up Compile the firmware, the. It's a Windows update just now. The firmware on a flipper, the compiling the Cedar projects, trying to run it and then debug it. Come on. First of all, you have your little flipper. Make sure that it is in. Ah, oh, God, I have to do this. First of all, you have a little flipper. You stick in your nard in it. If you don't have a nard, buy it or make it yourself. You also need a SAM, uh, which I now put in a SIM card holder and so I can use this expander instead because it's easier for me to plug in, plug out. Looks like that. Crappy. We go in here like that. Perfect. Easy. And here's an iClass SC card, so we're gonna read. But in order to do this, we need to do a whole heap of steps. So, allow me to go over there and show you instead. First of all, uh, one of the suggestions is to firm up the dates. Yes, no, you need the Q Flipper application. Download it for Windows. And if you install it, it will be there and you'll be happy. Ooh. And once you've done that, you get this nice little Flipper app, which looks like this. And if you hook up your uh, flipper to the network or to USB cable, it will be detected. The most important parts here is this, COM port 5. That's important for us. And right now it's in development already. Yours might not be, so I suggest you to do this. Head over to settings and select development. Yours might be on release. So switch over to development because we're going to build our own latest version of the firmware and then update it. Okay? So if you do this, it installs, restarts, and that's it. Back to this one here. We need also to download a whole heap of uh, projects. The first one off is the Flipper Zero firmware, but be careful, instead of just normally go up here and the SSH and cut and paste, you need to come down all the way here to realize that you need to do this. You need to add a recursive. So if I head on over to this one, oh, no. oh this one has to be started. Let me sort this one out. Alright, cool. Alright, demo. Uh, paste. We need to do a git clone recurse because the Flipper Zero firmware has tons of sub-modules that needs to be downloaded at the same time. So this will take some time. Skip adding video to feel like that. Nothing interesting is going to come out, going to come out from my mouth during this. I'm going to maximize it so you can see it a little bit, but it just will take time.
Oh, oh God, so much. Here you see why, you know, the free real-time OS, embedded TLS, crypto, little file system. Looks good. And uh, now what? He wants it to run the FBT. FBT stands for Flipper Build Tool. Kind of similar to uh, NRF's uh, build tool, but so let's run it. Oh, back to into the flipper and do it. It downloads the first time you uh, run it, it detects and see if it has the correct uh, tool chain or your dev development environment set up. So it's pretty awesome. It just downloads all the requirements for you and you'll be happy. This also takes some time, so please skip ahead in video and yeah, go. What meantime I talked about it, I can also say that if you're in DEF CON, if you like Iceman and you want to support me in my videos, there is a possibility to now buy my or the Iceman swag. Head over to the merch store and look at it. It's kind of awesome. This takes time. It just does. It's part of being a developer. All right, now it's compiling. Yes, to make sure that everybody understands, I running. I am running on VSL one on a Windows eleven machine. Great, all worked. Perfect. I don't want to go in and do more here, but I'm going to go out. We're going to do head over to the next one. And that is the Cedar project from Eric Betts. Yes. This is the FAP or the Flipper application that does talk to the NARD, which enables you to read I class SC and COS cards. And we are going to Clone it and run it. How about that? How about that? How about we just do that? Where's that one? Git clone. Okay. Git clone. Git clone. All right. This goes much faster. So we have two parts that we need. We have two projects. Uh, Flipper Zero and the Cedar. Here is the instructions by Betts how to compile and make it to be installed on your device, which is always not going to be that easiest it's going to look like. And let's head into the Cedar. And if we just follow it, it says, you know, pre install NC yet. So that would be APT search. Is an F one C, and we're going to find a version with this Ubuntu version here that's on the package management that is zero nine twenty eight. Now I have it installed, just yes, so you can see it, and I have twenty nine because I did something. That's very sad because. Ah, you should have seen this. Okay. Normally you get 28. Why do I have 29 here? Uh, well, it's because I did that thing. Uh, I had to go here to this place. I had to go and do this. I had to clone this one. And in there, I had to do look at the requirements because I didn't do that before. And I need these tools to be installed on my system, which I do by running sudo apt install lib tool automaker flex. Flex installs the bison automatically. It's all there, so I don't need to do anything. I want me to delete something, don't worry about that. Next thing to do is run, uh, let's see, more install. And yeah, and it wants you to run these. 
So let's run the first one there. This is where I ran into so many troubles before because I didn't have the right tool chain set up. Now it just goes a little bit easier. And configure and then make. This sets up and configures your make files. Also takes time. And then you run make to build it. And once you've done that, you can now run sudo make install in order to install this on your system. And then we are ready to go on to the next step. I know. There's a warning. Uh, I don't think we're caring so much about it. So the next step for you guys would be sudo make damn it, make install. That what what you're gonna do right now? But I'm not because I already have it installed. I'm gonna head back over to the Cedar project, and once in here, uh, let's see, LS more readme. Now when we've done this, uh, we should be able to run this to generate things. Let's see if we can do that. Any complaints? It complains that we are no Cedar ASM. Interesting. But however, is a make file. If we go from more make file, we see that it does some things and it does a regen for all and regen, radiate for asset source. So that's ASM lib. It does this. All right. So, how about I do a make? And that seems to work. All right. Cool. Make all. Hmm, okay. But it looks like that's it. Okay, that more read me. I want to check out a sim link to flip the forums application user folder. All right. And then it's FTB Cedar build and launch. All right. Cool. Let's do that then. So let's head back out to the flip zero firmware and we're going to go into applications user library. Now we're going to make a symbolic link to a cedar project. Okay, let's see. I know it's like that because I've done it, so but I'm going to help you through it. Let's go like help instead. And this is one of those help text that goes bananas. Uh, create a link to target with a link name. And the second form is link to target in current directory. So we are in the user's application, which his instructions are. And we want a link, symbolic link, with a dash s, that's symbolic, to the project folder, which is that. Now, we look here, we got a symbolic link. Cool. If you go to the Cedars, we see the, the it points into the other directory. So we all set up. What more was it in the Cedar readme? Let's see, readme. It was something like, what wasn't it? It was FTB. Sorry about that. Uh, it was FTB. Oops, FTB. Flipper build tool, and then it was Fab Cedar. This is compilation of uh, Flipper application Cedar. Let's see if that works. Oh my. Oh my, 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 my. Here is in the Zen bit string thing, so I don't think we can do very much about that one because that's auto generated, but it says it's unused, so well, ignore it. This, however, is a bigger trouble. For me, when I see capital letters like that, 
this is if you follow some name standards in C, this would be a macro. Now I have a sneak suspicion that this is still a macro, but it's in uh, small letters now. Looks like it's in small letters. Look, if you look at this. So this is the problem when um, when we go from firmware and fabs that the source code hasn't been updated to match the firmware. The development of firmware flipper goes very much forward, but the fabs hasn't updated to it. So right, um, what does that mean? Well, it's not that bad. We head back to the Cedar product and I'm gonna run my Visual Studio code. And once in here, I'm gonna remove a little bit of that and a little bit of a whole heap of messages that comes up because I don't have Copilot. And I'm gonna look for Dolphin Deed. And once there, I'm gonna go for lower. Let's have a look. Okay, uh, okay, let's see. Sorry about that. Dolphin deed. I'm gonna do manually. We do this. Do that. Heading of next one. Uh, next one. And now I need to save it. Uh, uh, I need to press Control S to save it, that's what I'm doing. So there's no Dolphin D capital letters anymore. I'm heading out. I'm heading back over to the clip from, you know, if this was a little confusing, it means we tried to compile it, we got some warnings, now we modify the source code on the CD project and see if it has any problems compiling. We head up here, we see it compiles much better. This octic string looks like auto-generated and it's not used. We can ignore that. Unused variable, we can ignore that as well. Set but not used, totally fine. We don't have to ignore it, we can ignore that at all. We're done. Uh, great, so we have a compilation. What more did uh, Beth say in his instructions? He said, launch cedar bop. All right, let's do that one. Let's run that. Oh, launch app target is deprecated. Use launch instead. All right, let's, let's do this. Well, it's, it's, it's something, but it's, it's not there. Error, fail to find connected flipper. Well, it's connected, all right. And remember I said when what was important when we looked in the Q flipper app, that it was on Comport 5 on my systems. It's gonna be different on your systems, but on mine it is. So, let's see, because we now need to know that it doesn't find it and it needs to find a port. Let's run the dash dash help and see. Oh God, there's so many options. If there are any options here that allows you to set a port. Here's the app source. Uh, flip port. Full port number flip to use. All right. Let's uh, let's use that. Uh, I, oops. Way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, flip port equal. Now on my system, my COM port 5 is then mapped with the TTE serial number 5. Let's do that and let's look there. Well, something's happening. Well, I did something at least, so yeah, installed, launched. Great, let's uh, head down to the Ziggy Cam. I don't know if you see it, but it's somewhere. Let's back out. All right. No, no. All right, I don't know. Uh, yeah, cool. 
So we're there. Uh, NFC. Uh, no, we're not going to that. We're going to. We need to go to apps. And then we need to go down to. NFC. And then we need to go down to Cedar. So the apps is a smooth way of doing it. Let's see. Um, detecting Sam. Well, it's not going to find a Sam because I don't have a Sam. So let me hook this one up here. Right. And let's see if we can do this again. Detecting Sam. Retry. So this is what I have a problem. I have to take this out and in. Let's see. Maybe this is easier for you if I do a big picture. I have to take out this and in again. And that. And then we run it again. Nope. And let's me unplug it and unplug it. Didn't work. Go out. Go in. Didn't work. Go out. Win. All right, that's not that smart. <laughs> I have to connect it the right way. Let's try it again. Go in. Go in. Let's work again. Uh, I'm gonna turn this. Alright, so this is an issue I'm having. Why do I have this issue? Let's see. Connect this one in again. Standard. Let's connect this one. Let's retry it. No. Let me unplug it and let's retry it. No. Let me restart it. Uh -huh. Apps. And can you just. So RFID is for low frequency. And NFC says it's high frequency. And RFID is everything. That's the whole spectre. And NFC is a subset at the HF, a high frequency sector. So just, you know, keep to the real terms instead of making up your own. Uh, just use low frequency and high frequency instead of this made up words. All right, it detected. Cool. Now I'm gonna put A. A as cloud and as class IAC card underneath here. And then press B equals. Yay! What it did? It managed to read something out of it. That's cool. Now I can save it and it's, but I don't want it, so let's go now. Okay, that's cool. So if I want to do something now, I can either take my Proxmark and sniff the traffic from the flipper, from the flipper to the Proxmark in order to get the traffic. But we don't want that. Uh, this is cool. We compile the phone on flipper. We flashed it on your device, the latest developments. We compiled and flashed and tested the Cedar product, which is working. After a while, we're fixing the SAM out on it and going out and restarting. And we can read a tag, that's perfect. But if you want to see something more, like me, like, I mean, I need the details, so I have no need for that. Then you need to do something else. Let me show you. In that case, you can do something. Now, you don't need to go there, and you don't need to go to the queue flipper, but you can do a serial thing. 
If you do a serial thing, you can do a comport. So remember it was comport 5? You take a speed of 230,400 and this 8N1 8 I think it is. And you head into the terminal here if you have kitty or uh, putty and you press in this one. And that's the only one you need. And then you go for open. Right. Well, uh, it helps if your device is connected with USB. <laughs> Let's do that one more time, shall we? Right, cool. So now you get a nice command line interface with your flipper, which is kind of cool. And here you have a whole heap of commands that can go make you like, oh, that's, that's annoying. But what we are interested in is in the log. Not just the log, because that would be the current log level of info. Uh, we want to do something called debug. We want to do that. Now with that said, we head back over to the flipper. And remember that we, I'm gonna do just the fast so you see it. See, remember here, so we're gonna do, yeah, we're just gonna read this one here again. Press this one here. And now we see some more. Now we see the details what's going on actually between the, you know, the Cedar project of the app talking to the NARD and what is sending eventually to the HID SAM, which is on the level where I want to look at things. So that's cool. You go up there. So, what did you learn today? You make your uh, flipper, your uh, you compiled, you did all that stuff, you got all of the more data. Now is the question is, where do we find uh, this, uh, this, uh, hmm, where do we find that one? Well, we need to find it, let me go here. Uh, I need to go. RFID, uh, wait, uh, RFID, HID, no, RFID, RFID, shop, here we go. This one, so what is the SAM that you need? The SAM which has the keys that is used for the CEOs and that's via Nightclaws SC. Remember that, that those can be changed, so if you buy this one, it has the, the actual keys right now. Uh, and if HID decides to change from future on, Oh, our out of luck. This one costs about 50 euro, which is about the same in dollars. So this is what you buy and use with your project. Does that make sense? So I think that is kind of cool. And uh, I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below. And otherwise you can, you know, ask me at, uh, Defcon. I also know that Betts uh, is going to be uh, at Defcon, so he's the creator of the Cedar app. So you can ask him the questions how is it all going to go on there and see what happens. Uh, well, I would do this and say the final words read the data sheets. <laughs>